Good morning, superstars, and welcome to the second episode of the Summer Cut. Okay, so today it's going to be a full day of eating. I'm going to show you what I eat during the day on a cut. I'm going to show you meal by meal, the calories, the macros, and everything that goes with that. There's not going to be any gym footage in this video because I'm going to put it in the next videos. Anyways, um, right now it is about um, 1.40, as you can see, in the afternoon, and I was intermittent fasting throughout the morning because I don't like to eat in the morning. I like to eat later on throughout the day because I just feel like um, my hunger kicks in later on during the day, like in the morning I'm not that hungry. But I do hydrate um, early on in the morning. We got the scale ready and the ingredients are about to go in right now. Alright, so scale is set to zero. We get the bowl, place it on top. We turn on the scale. Put in. be as accurate as possible so yep that's 50 grams after you've done that I get this and um, it's icing sugar there's not that much calories in it I just think it's the perfect sweetener for oatmeal you take 10 grams of this That is 10 grams. And now we remove the bowl. We place our peanut butter and we set the scale to zero. And we are going to take um, 20 grams from this. So that's 10, place it in the bowl. That's 20 grams, as you can see. Okay, so the way to um, measure on a scale is, for example, if you want to take out 20 grams from a peanut butter jar, you put it on the scale, and when you see it's minus 20, that means obviously you reduced 20 grams from the weight of the jar, so basically you took out 20 grams of peanut butter, and that's how we measure calories. Now when all of this is finished, all the ingredients are in together, we just add the water, and consistency of the oatmeal is up to yourself so if you like it um, if you like to have it like watery or more dry it's up to you depending on how much water you put I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds and it just um, makes the consistency a bit more um, dry and mixes it up well together so I'm just going to throw it in the microwave right now Right guys, so I just forgot to show you that I add in um, some cinnamon to the oats just to give it some extra flavour. So, and then after that, you mix it up. The final product looks like this. Oh, that was about to spill out. Anyways guys, I'm going to enjoy this meal. But first, I'm going to... Um, log my um, calories into my fitness pal and I'm gonna put the calories for you right up here on the screen all right all right guys so I'll see you at the next meal okay guys so I'm back with you with the second meal of the day which um, looks like this so I got um, two whole eggs and I seasoned it with and some garlic and some chili powder and some salt and then um, I added 40 grams of cheese onto it and also I um, eat beside that two um, slices of toast, brown bread and that's my meal. Alright guys and also with my uh, second meal I have um, 500 milligrams of acetyl L-carnitine. If you want anything off my protein, 
use my code MR16. I'm going to link it down in the description box and I'll also show you it on the screen right now. Anyways, I drink that with my second meal. Um, it's like 500 milligrams of acetyl L carnitine. I'm going to put the calories and macronutrients right up here on the screen. I'm going to crush this meal now and I'm going to see you all at the next meal. By the way, if you're wondering what time I have my second meal, it's about two and a half hours after the first meal and about an hour or two from now, I'm about to have my third meal, which is the dinner. All right, guys, so I'm back with you here now in the process of making the third meal of the day. So I'm going to give you a massive, massive tip, which would be to um, weigh out your rice before um, you cook it. So I'm going to need 150 grams of uncooked rice. Weigh it out just makes everything easier, less messy. Right guys, so if you learn one thing about me is that I love seasoning. Um, I'm going to throw in all of these in here to give the rice the perfect flavor. Okay, so we boil that in there now for 15 minutes and um, the color will change. So for making the chicken, I like to add in um, some white onion chopped so I'm gonna chop that up right now and boom chopped onion okay, guys so that onion is frying now and you can hear the sizzling now I'm gonna add in the chicken I seasoned this as well that is about 280 grams of chicken seasoned as well now I'm gonna mix it up with the onion and cook it Alright guys, so that's what the final meal is looking like and a bowl of salad on the side if it fits your macros. Alright guys, so I'm about to eat this meal. It is about 6 o'clock right now. So this is also my post-workout meal. I like to have it 2 hours before I hit the gym, which will be around 8 o'clock. I'm going to put up a calorie and macronutrient counter on the screen right about there okay guys i'll see you all at the next meal all right guys post-workout meal there's nothing special about this meal except the fact that it's delicious just uh, 108 grams of tuna all right so this is what the final product looks like um just quick um way to get in 30 grams of protein post-workout two slices of toast for some extra carbs because of Carbs saved up. So um, surprisingly, I'm not done with the day yet. I still have an extra meal after this to go with. Um, it's gonna be like a dessert. This is just post-workout meal. I'll put up the calories and macronutrients right there. Right guys, I'll see you for dessert. Right guys, so um, it is now um, 20 to midnight. And I'm about to have my last meal, it's a good snack. So I'm gonna have um, 190 grams of um, this yogurt. It's um, 0 0.1 grams of fat in it. So I'm gonna weigh it out here. We're also gonna add 10 grams of peanut butter onto it. And also secret in ingredient. 10 grams of Nutoka as well, that's 13, we only need 10, 10 grams right there. Okay, so this is what it looks like and also next to this I'm going to be having one green apple and um, I'm going to put a calorie and macronutrient counter on the screen right now. Also. Um, this is my last meal of the day. I eat close to when I'm going to sleep because my hunger kicks in during the night, like I said. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought. Share it out somewhat, let them see it. Subscribe if you're new. Positive thinking, happy energy, and I'll see you all at the next one. Peace out.